Hey Luke the Drifter here and uh, I'm in Kaido camping in the Wadigans and uh, yeah I wanted to show you quickly a few things. One of them is our new swag. Yeah, a lot of people have been waiting to have a look at that and some of the features so good chance to show you that now. This is uh, the RS1 and we've remade the bag for that. Um, it's a bag, this crap that it comes with. Um, so we've done that. It's a little bit too tall, like Kaido reckons a bit too tall so uh, we're going to make that a bit lower, although we haven't got the mattress in there because Kaido's been using the swag. And uh, anyway, some of the features I'll show you is we've got two swags here, our new ones, and uh, we can see it's got strapped down on the roof rack like this with our drifter straps. But the problem's always been the this the, the straps here, you know, to hold the bag is it's in the middle and the straps are on the outside, so this sort of tends to want to flap around and you can try to tuck it under but it's just not really that good um, it's always sort of annoyed me you know so what I've done on the swag bag I've put the straps underneath and I'll show you so what you do if, if you turn it upside down which I've often done on my swag bag then the zip is on the bottom and then the water can get in there you know so what we've done is put the zip on the top and the handles on the bottom say. So when it's on your roof rack, it's like that. It's nice and neat, the handles on the bottom, won't get in the road, not gonna flap around, and the zip's still protected from the valance over the top. We're using the waterproof zip on these as well. Okay, so it's a BX zip, <coughs> it's not the YKK zip, but this is waterproof and dustproof. You know, it's much it's uh, the, the YKK zips are pretty good, you know. But uh, for on a roof rack, it's going to get really copped the driving rain and the dust. We, we find it's better to have the waterproof zip. That worked really good. Tried that out on this trip. And uh, yeah, really happy with it. So that's the idea behind the upside down handles. So let's throw them down. And we'll uh, show you some of the features of the new Drifter Swag. Yeah, so the red one's the first one I made, and I gave that to Kaido, and this orange one's the second one we made. So, I'll show you the features. On this second bag I did, I put, put a little pocket here, as you can see. That's a squashable pocket, so you wouldn't know it's there, but, you know, that's for a couple of reasons. This is a standard flat swag. It's, we're calling it the classic Australian swag, and, uh, you know, it doesn't have any hoops like that, and there's a few reasons for that we'll talk about, but if you wanted to protect yourself from the mozzies, and you want to sleep on the ground or on a stretcher out in the open, just use a mozzie net, and uh, that can go in there. And also, when you're sleeping in your swag, this bag is empty, and you can chuck all your boots and clothes in there, so you've got a little spot to separate a few things if you like. So, squashable pocket in the, in the swag bag is ideal. Okay, so one of the really good features of this swag is these leather stirrup straps. Now this is a strap, that, a leather strap we made ourselves. I made the jig up ourselves, so we made a, a knife jig and we use that on our leather press. So that is a original stirrup strap, but we make them ourselves. So that's, that'll fit an Australian stock saddle. Okay, and I modelled that off my Alan Ruddock stock saddle that I've had, that I used up in the Gulf when I was mustering. And uh, make them myself, of course. Uh, copper rivets and that's a uh, proper stirrup strap buckle. Now, not many of you might have used a uh, stirrup strap for your swag before. It's something that the cowboys or the ringers up north do. But I'll show you why it's so good. And we had some swags before, and I, um, before I was making these, before I had the leather press, we were just using like a nylon strap. But the thing is with nylon strap, once it's like that, it's a bit short there, but it's very hard to adjust that. You can't pull it tight because they're not made to pull tight. They're made to strap together. Right? And that's made so it doesn't slip out. But I mean, you can adjust a bit, but what happens is it just it wants to pull around. It goes like that. So this is a little bit short for this. But they're just crap. And I've always wrestled with them and hate them. And plus, I mean, how can you get excited about that, you know? So, 
On my old swag I had when I was up in Malongra in Julia Creek, northern uh, Australia, I had the uh, stirrup straps. And you watch this. Right? You can just pull it so easy, so tight. And it's the best thing to roll your swag up with. So, you know, it doesn't matter where it is or how, how the swags get pretty bulky. And the big thing is trying to get them to pull up. Look at that. So, you don't have to put that through, but you can if you want. So, stirrup straps are the best thing for a swag. And um, that is just brilliant. So, I'm really happy with those. Okay, so, yeah, this little piece here. You just put that next to your swag, you can put your shoes on there and uh, so, so you've got somewhere to stand and get changed. Some swags have got that tied on or fixed on there and I've had swags like that. But uh, I've probably got um, six or seven different swags I've slept in and used for a long time. But this has sort of got the best and most simple features from all of them. And um, So anyway, that's just a separate piece. I didn't want to have it fixed on. This got the YKK zip. Now this swag here, we're going to have two different zip positions, okay? A standard Aussie swag has just got a fixed piece on the side and you can zip right round. Um, so the good thing with that is you can have, in hot weather, you can have your feet, you know, not under the canvas. So you can open it right up, flip it over like that. But on Kaido's swag, he sort of likes to have it zipped, uh, fixed at the bottom and zip round both sides. And because um, you might be in a bunker and you want, you like sleeping and ac accessing the bunker this way so with the fixed position at the bottom and zip right round you can open it up either side but I sort of like it like that so when you order the swag we're going to have two different uh, fixed positions so fixed on the side or fixed on the base and you can you know choose whatever you like I think in the more warmer climates it's better to have fixed on the side so you can open it right up and in the cooler climates it's better to have it fixed on the bottom so you know the canvas is over you all the time Right, so, now this is of course Australian canvas from Wax Converters, um, it's an 8 ounce black canvas and um, you know it's the only canvas we use. So the other thing is that's a mattress, it should have a zip. Yeah, so I went to the foam factory, I didn't know anything about foam, learn about all the different densities and it's, you know, all goes on the weight and everything. I don't know if it does. So I learned about all the different types of foam. And we selected this foam for the, the density and also the eggshell. So you can see it's like a, um, I think it's about 85 mils, all right? But it's got the eggshell, you can see that there. And that's really good because it rolls up a lot smaller than a fixed mattress and it still gives you a lot more thickness than a smaller mattress. So the eggshell is a great compromise and they're so comfortable to sleep in. We've also got a fitted sheet. So I went to another factory in Marrickville, I think it was. I made up a fitted sheet because that's not really something you can easily get off and wash, you know. So we've got this set of fitted sheets we made up. We've got a nice fitted sheet, okay. And uh, you can easily take that off and wash it. That's really nice. This is Australian made cotton. And uh, then, also what we've got here is, if you're running, there's two ways you can use your swag. One with just a sleeping bag, which is good. But also, when we're on the cattle station up north, everyone's just got sheets and a blanket. And it's uh, really, I think, you know, in many ways, a much better way of sleeping with this swag. So, we've just got this set of fitted sheets, as you can see, and you can just make it up like a normal bed. Look at that. So good. But if you've got sheets on the swag, it's really easy to uh, lose the bottom, the bottom of your top sheet. You know, it just falls off the end of your feet, and it's hard to get it back tucked in. So with this one here. We've got the zip there that holds that um, top sheet to the bottom and it's not going to sort of pull up and you know you lose it during the night so you know that's a really good feature there. Alright so that's it there, also comes with a pillowcase 
So we'll sell the mattress separately and also the fitted sheet set separately, which is a fitted sheet, top sheet and the pillowcase. And uh, that's your swag. Now, a lot of people these days are thinking you've got to have a swag with, uh, you know, hoops and mozzie nets and, you know, you can do that, a lot of people are, but this is what I prefer. What you do with this, you can sleep straight in the ground like that if you wanted to. You can sleep on a stretcher, which is even more comfortable, uh, and also get you up off the ground. There's bull ants around here. Uh, but you also, you know, if you're in a bunker, an Oz tent, or any sort of tent, you still need bedding. You still need a mattress, blankets, and, you know, the good thing with the swag is it holds all your bedding together in one neat bundle, so you don't have to pack a sleeping bag away and then pack your pillow away. They're all in there together, protected. So, even though you sleep in a bunker, a swag like this inside a bunker is just heaven, you know, it's so comfortable. Yeah, so this is ideal for using, uh, you know, for kids or if you're sleeping inside a, an Oz tent or a bunker or a stretcher. If you're inside a bunker or an Oz tent, you don't need, um, you know, a hooped mozzie net swag. And uh, in fact, if you're in, say, a bunker, you can't use a hooped swag because it just, it just doesn't work. It's too big. So, you know, and also the hoop swags, they're massive when they roll up. There's so much more canvas and all the hoops and they take time to set up. Yeah. So that's the swag there. This bag here, you can sit it next to you where you're sleeping. And you can put your clothes and everything in there. Alright, so that's got all your clothes and boots and things in it. That's in your bunker on your stretcher in your tent. And uh, that's our classic Australian swag. So we're making everything, the canvas, uh, we're sewing this up ourselves. Everything's Australian. The sheet, the fitted sheets are Australian, the mattress, the foam's Australian canvas Australian. The only thing, the zips are made in Japan. Uh, everything else comes from Australia, so. And the leather straps we're making ourselves. The other thing is, you know, up north, like I was saying, the ringers all have a, just a, you know, thin woolen blanket. And this is one that comes from Tasmania, uh, Australian made. And, um, you know, so that's so cool, just have a nice woolen blanket in there. The fitted, the sheets, and a woolen blanket, you can just make it up like a normal bed. It's not too bulky. If you wanted to have a sleeping bag in here, you can, but it's really nice to be able to just make your bed up like normal and, uh, you know, it's so comfortable. So we're gonna have an offering of a woolen blanket as well. The blanket, you know, these woolen blankets are not cheap, so this won't be part of the standard kit, um, but you'll be able to buy that as an extra, of course, as well, so. All right, that's pretty much it, and uh, no worries, thanks very much. G'day Luke from Drifter here at Drift Race Q and uh, this afternoon and me and Clyde have been wanting to do a little video to show you the swags and uh, the other day we were down the white again for driving and we showed you um, a bit about the swags so we're going to cut into this video and I just wanted to show you a few more things uh, here at HQ. So it's been a horrible day, blowing its head off all day and the wind's been howling and anyway it's just settled down a little bit so we can uh, hopefully get this done. Um, got me where's Rafa stubby. Look at that. These stubby holes are going off. We printed we printed out 30 of these today. Look at that. Where's Rafa? If you want to know what where's, where's Rafa's all about get on to the um, to Mr. Buccarini channel. He'll tell you. It's got a video. Or run the Drifter fans page. So um, yeah but these leather stubbies they're an 80s thing, but they're making a comeback big time. We put, we can put any print on the front there. Look at that, so good. And you should see some of the photos people are sending. You know, like photos of their their kids they give to their father for, you know, for their grandfather. You know, for his 60th or wedding photos or people with their trucks or fishing mates trips. Just amazing the amount of photos we're getting printing on like this. So cool. Anyway, and once you use the leather stuff, you tell you what, it's very hard to go back because. You just got that beautiful leather feel, and you know it's well insulated. Got our uh, Drifter logo on the bottom there. These are handmade, uh, pressed on our big leather press, laser cut. Any print we can put on for you. And yeah, once you've used one of these, pretty hard to go back to the old stubby order. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was show you uh, the swags. These are our new swags we've got here. So I've got three of them here. 
with a green trim, orange trim and red trim. A couple of little differences between, so we're going to show you those. And uh, well, I'll show you my old swags I've always had. And uh, you'll see some of the reasons why we've done, done the design features that we've got. So this is my original swag I bought. I think I got it from Broken Hill on the original, uh, one of my first trips around Australia in the old panel van with my two brothers, Ben and Dutchie. And um, this was a, um, a jolly swag that I bought at a camping shop in Broken Hill. And you can see there, it's still got my old address on it. So I bought this when I was probably 20. Luke the Drifter, Blaney, New South Wales, Australia. And uh, that first trip, you know, I've got my Australia patch, um, Northern Territory. And then after Australia, a lap around Australia, I went to America and worked over there. And then after that, I went to see Dutchie in Holland and worked there. So I've got a couple of patches, you know. I've changed this a couple of times. I've sewn on some uh, straps here. And because what I've done is I've handed this down to Kaido, which is pretty cool. And Kaido's about 10 years old. I handed this over to him. And he's been using it um, for a fair while as well. And uh, it's pretty cool to get a quality product that you can hand down to your kids, you know. Anyway, so that's just a little simple swag. And also I've been using that as a motorbike swag. So you see the mattress stops there, right? And it's a very thin mattress as well. So that's got a, it's got a different mattress. I don't know where I got that from, but pull the mattress out, put a thin mattress in and uh, I've been using that as a motorbike swag for a little bit and also when I was in America I was mule packing and I did this one trip where I took um, Jacob's family up into the Canadian border for a four day trip and um, we were we were overloaded basically because just me on my own I had two mules and four four people plus myself and I had couldn't fit everything on and I had this swag with a big mattress in it it was sort of the size of that and um, Claude Miller, he was my boss then, he, he, uh, he was helping me pack there at the trailhead on the way up to the Canadian border and he literally got me swag and he pulled it off the back of the mule and he said, you're not taking bloody that, it's too big. And I'm like, bullshit mate, I, I can't go without me swag, I mean that's, that's my house, you know, I lived in that thing when I was travelling America and Australia, that's all I had, you know, so I said, I'm not, I'm not leaving me swag. And we sort of looked at each other for a little while and I'm like, well mate, I'm not moving and I'm not budging. Anyway, what we did, a compromise, we pulled the mattress out and uh, threw it away. And then it just rolled up really small, so I don't think I ever got the mattress back after that. And uh, when I got home back to Australia, I chucked this little one in for Kaido. Um, anyway, so, but what we did on that trip was we were with, um, yeah, two mules and five horses, and they've got big saddle blankets on the horses and mules, so. When I was in the mountains working there, I used to um, put all the saddle blankets down and they were all still warm, you know, the saddle blankets, the big thick ones, especially on the mules, put them down on the ground in the mountains there and I would lay this swag out on top and the saddle blankets were about this high, it was so comfortable, still warm and, um, you know, I was in heaven. Anyway, so that's my little swag. The other thing I used to do as well, when I got to America, I travelled around, I bought an XL 650 motorbike in California and uh, I rode it up the west coast up to Washington State and I had this swag on the back of the bike had my Kubra hat in a box behind the swag had a little army bag on, on the tank strapped under the tank which I had on my leather gear because I used to plait a lot of leather belts and I even had a kangaroo skin that I kept you know this swag used to have a kangaroo skin all the time and um, actually I've got it in the shed I'll grab it Yeah, so this is my old risk, you know. I shot this myself, this kangaroo. You can see the bullet hole. Uh, I tanned it. I shot this in Blaney at my mate Colgate's house. Anyway, I used to keep that that um, roo skin wrapped up in my swag, you know, just like that. Took to America, and when I had the swag set up, I would just have this beside it, just like that. You could sit down and take your boots off, put your boots there. And, um, you know, that's where you'd get into your swag like that, so... And when I was travelling around America on my motorbike, I... It's a pretty hard seat. So I, I tied this onto the seat of my XL 650 motorbike. So I was driving around America on a motorbike with a kangaroo skin, a swag and a Cobra. 
I had uh, blundstone boots on and I didn't have any riding gear. I only had me dry as a main coat, so it's pretty crazy. Froze me. Froze to death a couple times nearly. Anyway, that's me little uh, jolly swag, you know. And a uh, little beauty. After that, I came home and I bought this double. This is a this is a a double swag, and uh, this is what I had when I was uh, living on this cattle station up north in Malungra, near Julia Creek, and north of Julia Creek. And that's where I learned to use stirrup straps as your swag straps, because it's always hard to sort of do your swag up, and um, you know the nylon straps are terrible. So. Uh, you can see there, now this is um, 20 years old and you can see I've got the copper rivets. I learnt about that in America, so when I come home from America, these were sort of um, breaking or the stitching had come off, so I put copper rivets in. And uh, now that's just a standard flat swag. Well, oh, that's the beauty. Seen I've um, patched up a few times. I don't even know where I got that from, but it's uh, just a flat swag. And uh, that YKK zip. Don't even know where I bought it from, but it's been a beauty. And uh, you know, you can see that's going to last literally forever. That's 20 years old. When I was at the cattle station. Actually, Dutchie rocked up me, mate. That's where I met Dutchie. And um, I had that spare swag. I was living in the little one. And the mate Dutchie rocked up, met him at the cattle station, and he didn't know what he's doing. Just come out of uh, Amsterdam and had no hat on. And I said, mate, where's your hat? And he goes, oh, don't wear hats, mate. So, all right, where's your swag? He goes, what's the swag? I said, mate, you're not stationed, but you need a swag. So I borrowed him that. So Dutchie lived in that for about three months on the cattle station. So. Anyway, later on, I've got this swag here, and uh, this is a pretty good one. A mate of mine made it. You can see too I've got the swag bag, which is very important because, you know, this swag here I've actually had, I was driving to the um, Adelaide show one day, and um, long drive from Blaney, two day drive. Kaido was like two years old, stopped on the side of the road. He always used to just camp on the side of the road and rolled it out middle of the night. We'd drive all through the night, rolled it out, and I found a bloody redback nest in the swag, middle of the night. Couldn't find the redback, but I found a nest there. So, ever since then, you know, um, that's one reason why in Australia you need a swag bag. Stops the water getting in. If that's on your roof rack, water's going to get in there. Without a doubt, it's happened to me before. And you throw it in your shed and guarantee within a month you'll have a red back. Put a little nest inside of you. This swag's pretty good. But these straps, I hate them, you know. Just these uh, nylon straps, they don't have a good feel to it. Like, I've replaced them a couple of times. You can't really tighten that up. Whereas, these stirrup straps, this. See that? You can get as tight as you like almost. And that'll never come undone. And the good thing with these, like, you might be out mustering on the weekend and one of the straps, the stirrup straps on your saddle might break, on your saddle horse. And you've got a spare stirrup strap on your swag, so, you know. This swag's really good, but the zip's no good on it. It's just a cheap zip. And uh, it's very heavy material. I mean, that swag for me is bloody heavy. I struggle to lift it on the bloody roof. But it's, it's very comfortable, nice thick mattress, and uh, pretty good swag. Anyway then, I bought this one. So a guy I knew was making these, you can see I've got my swag bag. I also made that up ourselves. Again, very good with a swag bag. 
this is a pretty good swag but again zips not a ykk not a very good zip and uh it was sort of the uh the dome style swag it's got these brass um rings which is sort of okay but i stay at a mate's place in foster a lot he's got a timber floor and these things here rattle like buggery noise the crap out of me so you know there was one here i cut them off you can see how i've chopped them off yes this, this is a nice swag it's got a beautiful mattress in it but i mean it's got this hood in it same as the little uh the little first swag i had it's got that hood but honestly i've never used that it's got the ring there you know but it's got the fly screen mesh but uh like the zippers aren't much good and it's it's quite difficult to open with that You know, um, yeah, the zips are just no good at all. But I've never used that hood, you know. And having that hood is a lot of extra materials, a lot of extra weight. You know, it's harder to roll up. And um, I've never been a big fan of it, to be honest. And that's one of the reasons I'll do this video. You can see do, doing that zip up is difficult. And mesh, you know, if you put a hole in that, then you're stuck, you know. So, and also it's got this PVC base, which is sort of a good idea, but, you know, I didn't like that really. And, um, anyway, that's that one. So then we started making our own. Same bag, same shit nylon straps. But this is the one we made ourselves. I hate those things. And what we did with this, me and Kaido, we did, I think this has got it in it. It's just a flat swag and big YKK zip. Look at that. So easy to open. Uh, that's all you need, you know. And uh, they work pretty well. This has got the mattress in it, but we were also looking at doing them without the mattress and had it with a blow up mattress. And that worked okay because you can get them roll up very small, but. You know, trying to get the air out of blow-up mattresses is takes forever. It's not easy. So that's not a bad start. But what I, you know, I wanted to do this for a while, but I just didn't have the time. We do so so many things for a drifter, and uh, also with these, one thing used to annoy me was uh, you got this on the roof of your truck. You strap it down. These straps are too long. This is the first one I made. You know, I shortened these off after this. But these used to flap around, and you know, you have to get up on the roof and tie them down again because your straps go here and here. And these things are horrible to flap around. So all of that there. And that's 20 years of using swags, and all of that has led to the design on these here. So. Show you that we went from again on the video the other day which we'll patch in but i'll quickly go over it again you see we've got these straps here just nice length you can throw it over your shoulder nice and easy and uh, you can carry that now when you get to your roof rack or your campsite throw it upside down straps are on the bottom you're not going to trip over them i've well, got some really nice uh styling with the different colour trim so we're doing black canvas all Australian canvas five six colours with trim and uh, there's our swag so in here we've got a pocket you can use that for you know your, your sleeping bag cover you know um, anything you like just a handy little pocket and that's our swag there so looks really good I love the black doesn't matter if it's green or black or beige but it looks great with the trim you know and as you can see we've got our leather straps so we're making these ourselves now here at Drifter all right look at that you can tighten them really easy never going to come undone and like I said if you have mustering and you bust the stirrup strap you know where you can get one from look at that making those ourselves copper rivets Look at the quality in those. 
these are genuine stirrup straps that we're making. Stirrup buckles, really good quality leather. And that's it there. So, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, the uh, mozzie nets. I'll show you a bit more about that in a sec. So, what we're, com we're doing this mattress here, it's an Australian made mattress, alright? Uh, it's foam, 80 mils foam, but it's eggshell foam. The eggshell is so good because it rolls up really small, it's so comfortable. I mean, a, a thick, hard foam mattress doesn't necessarily, is, is that comfortable. It can be quite hard and hard on your shoulder and your hip, but this eggshell is so good. We've got custom made, all right, I went to the factory in Sydney, you've got custom made uh, fitted sheets, nice material, Australian made material, and a top sheet, all right, because sleeping in a sleeping bag if it's hot, it's not really that nice when you're camping. It's, especially if it's hot, it's really cool to be able to just, you know, um, have a sheet. So that's what we've got. We've got the option, the drifter kit or the swag will come with all this together. Your pillowcase, bottom sheet, top sheet. And you can also open this right up. Alright, so uh, camping on the weekend with that. Dirty. And there's your little piece. Not going to give everybody a kangaroo skin, but you can have that bit of canvas there just to um, put your boots on, you know. So, that's the classic Aussie swag that we're making. Now, with the mozzie net, right, yeah, you've got to be um, away from the mozzies. And what you can do, show you here. And that's one thing, you can throw that on a on a stretcher. Yeah, look at that. So, like, 80 mil foam mattress, swag like this, up on a stretcher. That is literally heaven. You know, you're not lying on the ground. You're up. If it's wet, dirt, muddy, and uh, if you're camping under an awning, it's really nice actually to be on a stretcher. These stretchers are great. Mini flame stretcher, fold up really easy. You're up off the ground. Now if you're worried about the mozzie, just get a simple mozzie net, hang it off your awning, over the top of you. If it's really hot, the last thing you want to be if it's hot weather, is underneath your swag, right? And uh, one of the first times, you know, when I left the army, and uh, I was out, um, it was Christmas time, me and my little brother were camping out at Walgett, and we had those swags, and uh, mozzies around, stinking hot, like you're talking 45 in the day and 30 at night, right? And we were underneath the swag with our little mozzie net thing and they were absolutely sweltering. And the lady that uh, the station we were on, for Christmas she gave us a couple of second hand mozzie nets. And honestly it's the best Christmas present I think I've ever got in my life. Because then we could lie on top of the swags, so you got, you know, nice and open and cool. And it was just brilliant. So a simple mozzie net, we'll have them on the web as well soon. Hanging it from the, from the awning, over top of you. If it's hot weather, that's how you want to be, right? Eh? If it's hot weather, you do not want to be in a little, tucked up on this tiny little bloody mozzie net. You just cook, you know. Now the other thing is, you can put them into a bunker. The bunker's got really no mattress, it's just a stretcher. And a stretcher on its own is not very comfortable, you know. You can do that if, you, if your life depends on it, but you're not going to have the best sleep. The ideal thing is a mattress. But look at that. I mean that fits in the bunker perfectly, right? So if you want to undo that, roll it off the side, like this. Right, if it's hot weather, you're in Queensland and you're camping, look at that. I mean you've got now a beautiful mattress. Take my boots off. Beautiful mattress, so comfortable. 
nice mozzie net um, and nice and cool you know and you can just sleep like that you've got a sheet that's all you need at night time you know if you get cold you throw your canvas over the top as a bit of a blanket but summertime that's how you should be living really if you haven't got a bunker then you just chuck a mozzie net over the top of your stretcher so you know people always say oh you've got to have a dome swag and all this stuff but really you know I mean you're in you're under an awning you got to be camping really under an awning if you can and uh, if I'm camped under there I don't need this big dome structure over top of me it just makes your swag heavy and complicated to set up and I mean I use my swag probably more at my mate's house to sleep on the floor you don't need that big bloody tent thing you know so that's a bit of swag you can see how that one folds out to the side The other option we've got is uh, these zips on here too are a waterproof zip so if it's on the roof of your vehicle, pouring rain, you're not going to have any problem with water getting inside your swag. Yeah. So this is how we can do it as well. So you got two options when you order. It's just personal preference. See that how I can zip down both sides. Right? I can still throw that over. I can't undo it to come cover my feet, to uncover my feet. But what I can do is zip right in there and fold this off down the bottom. Right. So if you're in your bunker, you can still unfold it, but that's the two options, right? You have it fixed on the side and zip around here like this one or fix at the base and zip down both sides now we're going to also have the option of a woolen blanket because this is the drifter classic Australian swag and uh, nothing better than sleeping at night you know with a nice mattress and a set of sheets and a woolen blanket you know that's all you need a lot of the time so we'll have the option of a, of a woolen blanket they'll be made in Tasmania uh, one of the last remaining Australian woolen blanket factories and uh, I thought that's pretty cool that we can offer a really nice quality blanket as well right I might just show you the colors on this one this is probably a good mate Brad Hooker and having a classic Australian swag classic Aussie bloke Brad Hooker and he was the first one to purchase one of these look at that he wanted green trim so black swag black swag green trim Look how good it looks, and uh, we're going to send that up to him to Brisbane next week. Righto. Well, that's our Drifter Classic Australian Swag Range, and uh, fully 100% Australian made. The mattresses come from Sydney, the fitted sheets come from Sydney. This, the uh, canvas is Australian made of course from wax converters in Rutherford we stitch them up and uh, we're making the uh, the bag and the leather straps and uh, we'll have the, that on the website shortly so right there. appreciate you having a watch and uh, no worries thanks very much right so back here in the backyard again and a couple more things I wanted to show you about the Drifter Swag Range. Um, you know, if you're in a really hot climate, the thing you really need is a uh, mozzie net, and uh, you know, it sets up like that. So, I've just been mucking around with these mozzie nets. That's actually a double. I tried the single, but it's a little bit small. But this dial here uh, is not the best. Uh, like, it's what you want. Like a really fine mesh mozzie net is, is the go. 
because if it's really hot, right, you lay down on top of your swag, underneath your sheet, you got a single blanket, that's like luxury. There's nothing worse than getting into a domed or a hoop swag if it's stinking hot. And I've done there, out at Wildwood, I spent Christmas 1991, I think it was, at Christmas, uh, the whole couple of weeks, um, I was living in my swag there with my brother, you know, for a few months, and it's um, so hot and sweltering, and people know what I'm talking about, if it's summer, yeah, at Western Queensland, and you're in a dome swag, it's just stinking hot. That's how you want to be like that, under a mozzie net, right? Now this one's we've just bought these and trialled them out, but they're not really good, because it's too close over your head, and it's too close over your feet, right? Eh? What you need is the box style, yeah, what you need is the box style mozzie net, okay? So, can, because underneath an awning, you know, you've got heaps of awning space, you want that style mozzie net, right? Eh? So we're going to try and find some and uh, have that available, but this one's just not quite right. Uh, but basically that's the style you want, a mozzie net style, you know, a mozzie net that combine with your swag in the hot weather. And uh, you know, you can see the bunker works really good because you've got that square box shape and that's why these are so good because very nice mozzie net. You can see how open it is, the bunker. I mean, these are brilliant things and you really get your money's worth out of them. They're not cheap, but you know, you'll have them forever. And uh, you can see in the summertime, you lay on top, totally no worries with the mozzies. If you want to put the cover over the top, then you're basically waterproof. You can camp with these out in the rain. Me and Kyle camped in them heaps in the pouring rain and they're fine. So that means that the bunker can be outside of your awning, not, you know, tucked up underneath your awning. Now the other thing here is, I forgot to show you last time, is rolling up a sleeping bag inside the swag, which a lot of people want to do. If you want to go the sheets in the hot weather and a woolen blanket, that's fine. But uh, if you wanted to use a sleeping bag, uh, that's, you know, you can roll it up in there as well. So this is a Snow Peak Futon 104. It's a big, thick, uh, the warm sleeping bag. So that's the thickest sleeping bag we've got, and I'll show you how it rolls up. So what I'll do, I'll just drag this out. So you see what's going on. I'll take the pillow out for the moment because we've got heaps of room in the bag. Okay, if you want to see, you can roll it over. And uh, it's not a bad idea. So what I've done here is I've finished with the zip down the same end as the, uh, as the label there and I've just kind of leave that open a little bit which lets a little bit of air out at the end so I mean you can roll it up any way you like but if I do it this way turn it upside down roll from the top it's going to leave the logo finished at the end which looks which looks pretty good the way to roll a swag right you get it there hold it with your knee roll it like that each time, grab it and just roll it and hold it with your knee. And you can see there we've got a bit of air coming out at the end of the swag, which is sort of what you want. Right grab it between your legs, and this is where these straps come in. Look at that. Impossible to break those. And that's it. So that's got the sleeping bag inside. Because you've got the nice big swag bag, right, you can take your pillow out, right? little pocket there for things so chuck that in and the pillow can go in there like that and you want to turn that valance over make sure like that and that's ready to go on your roof rack. If you want to carry it, 
no worries like that. Heaps of room in there. And when it's on the roof rack of your car, hit them upside down. Look at that. There's no water going to get in there. Look at that waterproof zip. Okay. And uh, in that bag as well, we've still got a bit of room. All right, you can see this bit of room on the end here. You've left that free. You've got the room there for, you know, uh, some clothes, dirty clothes would be good. Whatever you like, you know. Mozzie net, that's where you want to put your mozzie net. So, yeah, just a couple extra things to show you. But that, uh, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, mozzie nets, things like that, or the dome swag style. And uh, that's how you want to do it. So, no worries to roll it up with a thick sleeping bag. Put your pillow separate, it's all in there together. Um, we'll have a better mozzie net. I mean, you can get mozzie nets anywhere, but you do want the box shaped mozzie net, something that looks a bit like the bunker. Because you're under the awning, you've got plenty of places to tie it up. You can tie it up here, you can tie it up there, set it really nice. And that'll work well, so no worries. Good on you.